I'm Nick Nichols, here to demonstrate a new kind of guitar control called a Volector. A Volector uses a joystick instead of traditional pickup selector and volume controls. Combining the words volume and selector gives us Volector. Moving the joystick to the neck corner turns just the neck pickup up all the way. Moving to the bridge corner, turns just the bridge pickup up all the way. Moving the joystick to the bottom corner gives me both pickups at full volume. Moving to the upper corner, turns the guitar down all the way. So back and forth pans between the pickups, up and down controls the overall volume. Pinky swells in two dimensions at once. The Volector circuit also includes a switch to reverse the polarity of the neck pickup, putting the two pickups out of phase. Panning between out of phase pickups gives you fingertip dynamic control with a comb filter effect that no other guitar can do. This is Guitar 5. It's a modified Jay's Terser with all new electronics including dual Stuart McDonald Golden Age humbuckers. The truss rod and bridge are set up for light gauge strings. The action is very nice. It has a tone control and a variable coil tap for each pickup and uses a stereo cable to keep the signal separate for connecting to different effects or even different amplifiers. So here's how we're plugged in today. The stereo output jack going to a stereo cable with a stereo plug on it. The next pickup is going to this nominally left channel. The bridge pickup is going to the red for right channel. And we come down to the effects pedals. The left channel is plugging into a vintage 1970s small stone phase shifter. And from there we're going into the left channel of the Lexicon dual channel processor. Okay, so the bridge pickup is connecting to a 1960s vintage Vox Clyde McCoy wah wah pedal. Uh, from there into a Big Muff Electro Harmonics distortion box. And that's plugged into the right channel of our Lexicon here. Uh, the left channel is set up for a pitch shift down one octave and the right channel is set up for a delay. Using a mono output, in other words just plugging into the right channel, the lexicon knows it's supposed to output in mono at that point and that's coming down to the amplifier, Sun Solaris, also probably from the 60s. Uh, the Sun has reverb and tremolo controlled by this switch here and the lexicon can be bypassed and this is for the tap with this switch here to control the delay time.